<laughs> Let's have fun with gestures. Here's how you get to them. Inventory, and right here in the gestures folder, you see. Now, a gesture is a combination of several things. Let me double click this and I'll show you. It's a combination of animation, sound, chat, lines of chat, and a wait, which is like a pause. You don't have to use all of these, but you put these into steps. So it's like a sequence. You can do multiple things and chain them for greater results. Now, there's a few glitches in this gesture editor I want you to be aware of. For example, if you just click active, it doesn't give you an indication that it's change to save but it has so when you close that you'll notice now that it's active there's a number of things in here which are a bit confusing don't worry I'm going to show you how to use these gestures so now that we've got it active what does that mean it means for example that if I go to the chat bar and I type with this forward slash and start typing bow it auto completes as a gesture it's like a quick action I could do so I can just hit enter and you notice bow <laughs> very polite another way you can do it of course is whoop, don't want to delete that you can just go to this gestures pop-up menu here which is on your chat bar notice from the view you can either uh, wait, where is that yeah it should be in view I can either uh, mm, yeah world menu sorry that should have an X next to it. I can either hide or show the chat. And then I can uh, use this pop-up and go right to bow. So you see I can keep bowing if I so desire. Bow, 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 kow, tow. <laughs> so that's basically how to play a gesture, first of all. Next, some more quirks you should be aware of. For example, in World, the start gesture, this really does diddly squat, doesn't do anything. All it's supposed to do though is the forward slash which you could type anyway. I've suggested that this be removed because it's buggy and confusing. When you have a number of gestures that are active like that, you can also search your inventory to find your active gestures. They're mostly likely to be in the gestures folder, but just in case, it starts with open bracket then active. Also important to know, if you want your gestures to show up in this pop-up menu, then what they must have is they must have a trigger, okay? Because for example, if I activate this and I also activate a dance, notice how only the AFK shows up. This is specifically because the dance does not have a trigger. So if we set up a trigger for it, say forward slash dance, and save that and close that, then you will notice forward slash dance, sure enough it shows up, we can close that, and then we can dance. <laughs> Let's look at making a gesture from scratch. Two basic ways you can go about this, either the create menu and new gesture, or as I like to do, I just right click on a folder and then I select new gesture. So what can we do? We can rename it. I like to call it happy dance because dancing is a great fun gesture. A lot of residents in Second Life love to dance. Double click on it and then it tells us description. This is the date time it was created. We can replace this with this is a really happy dance. Just in case you forget, you know, just in case. Now next, what you see here are the default steps. These are placeholders. They're always put here. If you preview, you notice a wave, then it waits until it's done. Then it says, hello avatar. We can go ahead, remove, remove, and remove, and we can put in, click that animation, then click to add from goes from left to right. As you see, click, then it's right there. Now you're going to see a list of animations you can choose from. There's quite a few default ones. These are Second Life staple classics. Also, animations you collect in your in-world travels will be in this list, but only if they're fully permissive. They must be copyable, modifiable, and transferable. Make sure they have all three of them or they will not show up. The same thing goes for sound, okay? I know it's a bit frustrating and it limits the usefulness of gestures, but it's what's required. I think it has to do with a, a problem with permissions long time back, unwanted copy. But anyway, let's go ahead and select Dance 4, for example and then we put that step. So I will put a wait step so I can pause a bit after the dance. I set it four seconds, time in seconds. Check that, oh, oh, it's a bit of a quirk, but I, there we go, that should work. And then I can add another step, click on animation again, then add, and I can put say dance eight. Okay, then let's preview what happens. Okay, good, it waits about four seconds, right? Then dance it. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay, we can elaborate on this. Let's add a sound. Let's spice it up. Click on sound, add. Now let's find out. Oh, no sounds. What do we do? Well, we got to get some sounds. Let me just save this. And you'll notice that there's some default sounds in the library. 
if you click open the library. Remember that you can also upload sounds of your own choosing. They must be 41.1 kilohertz and 16-bit and under 10 seconds right from here. Upload sound that normally lets you pick. Whoops, let me just close that. And then we can find here. Uh, that was my previous failed attempt. Better hide that. Um, go to gesture sounds and for example, comedy. Let's see what this sounds like. Double click on a sound to preview it. it may take a while to load. Okay, very slapstick. So do you see what I did? I right click and copied it, and you can scroll all the way up. And I can copy it into my sounds live my own sounds folder. It's okay. Paste. Okay. And then now just go back to Happy Dance and sound right there. And it should show up comedy one. Notice this. There we go. Click it and save. We can move this to the very beginning so it plays at the very beginning. So got it synchronized like this. Just when you think it's ended, I dance. <laughs> I look a little tipsy there. So notice there's all these controls, these additional ones for start and stop. That applies to animations which are endless loops, infinite loops that keep on going. And you can set use these controls to begin and end them that way. You can also, of course, add chat. You can add multiple lines of chat. You can add one at the beginning, like, let's watch us dance, OK? Slave it and it'll show up. One thing you do have to be aware of, I believe, in regards to chat, let me add another line just to see if this is still in effect. If I type a line and click somewhere else. Okay, I think that still works. Sometimes, though, it doesn't get entered properly, so just watch out for that. Let me put in a line of chat like dance, dance, happy, dance, exclamation marks to emphasize said happiness and save it again. And then let's preview to see what we've got. Yeah. Oh, off the screen a bit. <laughs> and then, see, the second line of chat. So you can build quite a few steps. There is a memory limitation, uh, but generally I think you can experiment and go quite a ways. And then let's see here. You can click active, or let's set up a trigger. Okay, let's do both. I can set up a shortcut key, like say F7. If I push F7 on my keyboard, or the trigger will be happy dance and then it also replace with. Now this is what it's useful for is, read this uh, tool tip. Yeah. <laughs> so every time if I type happy dance, I can do something like, now I'm gonna happy dance. Let's save it and let's see what happens. Now notice when I use a forward slash, I start with H, it doesn't show up yet. Well, that's because I have to activate it. Right click, activate it. Now watch this, delete, right click, See, it auto-completes, and then when I push enter, it automatically says, let's watch us dance, and now I'm in happy dance, which is the first line of chat, and yep, I'm dance, dancing, dancing the happy dance. So as we can see here, there's quite a few things we can combine. <laughs> and of course, it shows up right here. So that's how you can make your very first gesture if you haven't done so yet. And if you hadn't, I highly, strongly, super fantastically encourage you. Let's turn the camera to the forward physician so I can see myself. And let's again do the happy dance. <laughs> If you're curious about how complex a gesture can get, well, that's what I'm here for. Here I have a traveling gesture. It's by Avatar Absolute. Okay. Now we look carefully at all these steps. There are a lot of them. You can see there's a dance. There's a sound, of course. That's the main sound. And in the midst of it, you have these steps, little weights, which have the result. Okay, there's additional animations going down and it finishes in the line of chat. The end result of this is it's been specifically programmed so that the lines are timed with the music. Watch this. That was more like it. You see how those punches in the air at the end <laughs> coincided with the rhythm? So yeah, go crazy. Go wild with your gestures. Give them a big yay for me, okay? <laughs>